What is up guys, we are back today for our UU Live, our Tuesday UU Live. Today we are going to be using, actually before I uh, talk about the team, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Incredible Burning Man from DeviantArt for this awesome Crawdon art in the back. Uh, if you couldn't tell, we also have a Crawdon on the team. We're using a team that my buddy Shiny Weavile Jose passed me. Uh, it's called Three Berries because it's got three Pokemon with berries on it. We are uh, Shuka, Kobalion, Yachi, Whimsicott, and Lumberry, I believe DD. Uh, Salamence, that's what we should be. Let's see here. And indeed we are. So that's uh, that's the team pretty much. We got a uh, Swords Dancing Crawdont, a Mega Aerodactyl without Pursuit, which is uh, not as necessary anymore because of uh, the because of the uh, Alakazam ban. So it's not uh, it's not as important for breaking sashes anymore. Pursuit still has its uses for Chandelure and things like that, but I mean, we have uh, Dark Move and Knock Off over here, so. Anyway, uh, we have, uh, I prefer Aerial Ace over Wing Attack, so I'm just going to change that because this move doesn't check accuracy at all. And I think they have the same PP as well, if I check Wing Attack. Uh, no, it has 56 PP. All right, well, maybe it is better. Yeah. Well, there's nothing that really drops um, accuracy in you use, so. So we're, uh, we're going to rock out with the team. We're going to get battle really quickly. Thanks again to uh, Shiny Weavile for passing me the team. Uh, big thanks, man, and uh, see if we can do some things with it. I really like the Heliolisk set. It's passing, you know, packing Grass Knot, I believe Hyper Voice, uh, Thunderbolt, and Volt Switch. Your common uh, Life Orb uh, Heliolisk set, so... Here we got a battle, and uh, this guy's got a very similar team to ours, actually. He's packing the uh, Salamence, the Cobalion. It's also got a Flyer in, uh, in Crobat, so... Kind of uh, some of the same stuff. It's got an Electric-type in, uh, in Ampharos. So I think I'm pretty safe here to lead off with uh, just... I guess Cobalion and get up my rocks, honestly. Because his, um, his Crocodile won't be able to knock us out, as he actually leads with his... Gyarados, we will be able to outspeed this thing and get off of Volt Switch should he choose to stay in. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And that's going to do half, so that's very good damage for us. As now what I can do is go into Whimsicott if he chooses to Dragon Dance up. We will be able to Encore him. He chooses to go for Earthquake instead. Good play. Uh, and I can just Moonblast here or U-Turn out for Momentum. Uh, I think I'm going to U-Turn actually. Predicting his Crobat, yeah. There we go. Able to get a U-turn off on that. And Aerodactyl speed ties with this at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll go into Aerodactyl. And he doesn't seem to have a uh, any black sludge, which means he's probably offensive. So here what I'm going to do is uh, probably just go for the wing attack. It's neutral on the Cabalion and the Crocodile and all that stuff. So we'll see how much this does to his Crook. Does a good 35%. Uh, he could be Scarfed. But uh, I think I'm willing to risk this and just go for the Aqua Tail and knock out his Crocodile right there. So there, there's that threat gone. And now all we have to deal with is the Mega Ampharos, which comes in. So I have a uh, pretty good response to this thing in Whimsicott. As I resist one stab and I'm immune to the other. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into Whimsicott. And he's going to go for the Volt Switch. And that actually still does a lot. That tells me he's probably offensive. Let me actually just open up a Calc here and check that damage out. And uh, we'll see very shortly what kind of Ampharos he is. I think we are offensive Whimsicott, so uh, yeah, we're max speed, max special attack maybe? I don't really know uh, Whimsicott too well, but we will check the Ampharos and say it is a Mega Ampharos, let's say all-out attacker versus our Whimsicott. I'm pretty sure that's offensive damage. Uh, applaud an attack. Uh, yeah, that seems to be our set, and Volt Switch, actually, that's, uh, yeah, that's definitely a, uh, an off- Oh, wait, no, it only did 31. Okay, so maybe he is defensive. Alright, so, on this Crobat, I don't really have a lot to go into here, so I think I might just, uh... Now he doesn't have his Intimidator anymore, well, he still has one, potentially two, actually, with the Salamence. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to just go, uh, for the Moonblast here, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to Brave Bird, that's going to knock us out. I didn't really need Whimsicott for too much else, so what I'll do here is now go into Aerodactyl, and the Stone Edge is incredibly obvious, but his only switch-ins to it are Cobalion and Mega Ampharos, both of which uh, per should die to an Earthquake after the Stone Edge. There we go, and we'll go for the EQ right here, and be able to take this thing out if I'm not mistaken. And it is gone. There we go. So no more Omega Ampharos to deal with. And his Cobalion comes in, which is pretty much telegraphing that he might be... 
that he might be uh, Shookaberry. So what I'll do is I'll go into Salamence on this thing. It's a pretty safe switch. We get off the uh, Intimidate. He goes for the Focus Blast, so he's actually special. And we can actually just Dragon Dance up here and win the game, I think, um, with this set. Why are we Fire Blast? <laughs> this is a very peculiar set. I like it. It's cool. He goes for the Volt Switch. It's not going to do too much. We are plus one now, so I guess his switch would be Gera or his own Celements. Okay. Um, are we max speed? Do we really want to risk a speed tie with a potential Scarf Ment? That is the question. Do we just lose if he goes for Outrage? No, because we have Cobalion, but... I mean, Cobalion's not taking that too well either. Um, I don't really have a choice here. And we do connect the Outrage, we are faster. Or that was a speed tie and we got lucky and we are able to take out his Ments. He now goes into Gyarados, he's not going to appreciate this Outrage at all, so he chooses to switch into his Cobalion, good play. Gonna get a crit right there, that kind of mattered. He is Rocky Helmet and we are now confused, but we're Lum. So we get rid of that confusion immediately. And I can just fire off an Earthquake here and knock out his Cobalion. We learned that it was not Shooka, so we were able to take it out with the Earthquake. And that pretty much seals up the game, so that's uh, that's pretty much how the team works. We didn't really get to see Crawdont that game. I'm sure it'll come out at some point. Against slower teams, it's more of a wall breaker for stall and, and just very bulky offense, so... We'll see if that comes into play. Sorry guys if I'm drinking water, a lot of water. Uh, I'm not feeling too well right now, so... Gotta... Gotta stay hydrated, man. Gotta gotta drink that water. F four liters a day. No, two liters is enough. Uh, how much is that in ounces for all you Americans? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, it is pretty late as per usual. So what I'm gonna do is pause and uh, wait until we get one, guys. Be right back. All right, guys, and we got one. And uh, like I said, this is a little bit of a slower team, barring the um, the septile. Everything is relatively slow. So, Crawdon can put in a lot of work, especially because it's Aqua Jet. Uh, so, we we're definitely going to try to get that to happen. Now, his best lead against me is probably his Sableye or his Metagross. So, I think in both cases, Whimsicott is just a solid lead, as he does lead with the Sableye, in fact. And we will just go for the Moonblast, turn one. We're not going to play around with this thing. He taunts us, and we get off a big Moonblast, do 78% to this thing. And now what I'm going to do is... Actually, I can just Moonblast again. He goes for the Pain Split, and we're able to knock out his uh, his Sableye right there, which could have been a nuisance to our uh, our faster Pokemon, especially because of Will-O-Wisp. So really glad I got rid of that thing turn one. Our uh, next issue is either going to be the Arcanine or the Metagross that are about to come out here. I don't foresee him going into Sceptile. Uh, Floor just is a possibility. Definitely not into his... Uh, into his cloister because I could just destroy that thing and then encore it so uh, he actually taunted us so I have to be careful with this I am gonna go for the Giga Drain I'm gonna knock this thing out I was assuming it would be Sash but never mind uh, <laughs> yeah he, I think he's a little uh, shocked but uh, cloisters spadef is zero <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, he brings in the Arcanine, good play, we're gonna find out if this thing is choice. Whimsicott already did its job, it got rid of the Cloister and the Sableye, so I don't really need it anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna U-turn, actually, I did, should I just Moonblast? Um, well, it's too late because Showdown today is deciding that, uh, we can't cancel moves, so. What I'll do here is I'll go into Salamence, really hope he's not Will-O-Wisp, if he is, then we're just gonna get burned, but... He's gonna go for the Flare Blitz at minus one, it's not gonna do too much. He actually gets the burn, and does our Lumberry activate? Yes, it does, okay, good. He's also Life Orb, which is, uh, something good to note. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is actually just fire off an Earthquake. I'm not gonna play around because he has the Florges, and if I go for a DD, then I'm forced to switch out anyway. Brings in the floor just very good, and uh, we'll just go into Cobalion here because yes, this thing can moonblast my Cobalion, but I also put a lot of pressure on it, and I'm able to get up rocks. Consequentially, he goes for the wish, very good play. Um, we'll just go for rocks right here. I don't really care if he goes for uh, switching to Arcanine. I just want to get my rocks up, weaken his Sceptile. Uh, I think the way I'm gonna win this is with our Mega Aerodactyl. Uh, the only thing is I have to weaken the. Uh, I have to weaken the Metagross a little bit before I can do that. So he brings in his Arcanine. We already know this thing is not Scarf because we outsped it with uh, with the U-turn earlier. So I can just Volt Switch here. As he actually chooses to switch back into Florges. Very good play. 
And uh, now we're gonna go Heliolisk, I think, is my play. Probably, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty good. I'm uh, Life Orb, so this Hyper Voice should do a lot. Uh, alternatively, I should probably just go for Thunderbolt because it actually has a para chance. So that's what we're gonna do. And, uh, I mean, he can stay in and wish protect all he wants, but eventually I'm gonna switch out, obviously. I'm not gonna stay in on this thing forever. And I'm probably gonna go to Whimsicott to lock it into whatever it wants to go for. I just need to keep this thing low, basically, for Salamence to be able to sweep as well. With, uh, with Earthquake and Fire Blast on the Metagross is gonna hurt. Um, and Outrage, of course, for the other two remaining Pokémon. His Arcanine is not an Intimidate. It's, uh... It's a flash fire variant, so we have nothing to worry about. We can oh wow, that did absolutely nothing. He's specially defensive, obviously. Um, so I can't really stay in here. What I'll do is I'll Volt Switch. He protects, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna Volt Switch again and go right out into Cobalion. If he wants to bring in the Arcanine, that's fine because I mean on my Cobalion because I'll just get Iron Head damage off on it and I'll be able to uh, to weaken it down a little bit. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for another Wish. So, I don't foresee him staying in here. We're not max attack though, so I think what I'm gonna do is actually Volt Switch on the predicted Arcanine, uh, or Metagross, okay. So we get a Volt Switch off on that thing, that's good. I don't really wanna go directly into Crawdon because he can definitely outspeed me and, uh, and do some serious damage, but his floor just is now weakened to the point where I think, I think two Earthquakes actually might be able to take it out. <coughs> So that's what I'm gonna go for. If he has the Ice Punch on his Metagross, then kudos to him, but uh, I'm more fearing the Hammer Arm or something that could take out my Crawdon. That's why I didn't go directly into it. It's a very, very risky play, and I don't really wanna make that against this guy. Uh, I actually just entered back into top 500 on the UU ladder. Uh, I decayed a lot because I wasn't playing much, and I think we had a bad week last week, so uh, able to do a little bit of damage to his uh, to his Metagross right there, he was Shooka, and he's able to take us out with the Meteor Mash, which kind of tells me that he's offensive, uh, which means I definitely do not want to bring in Crawdont on this. Uh, let's go to Heliolisk, and we'll, uh, we'll Volt Switch around a little bit. If he should choose to stay in, what I'll do is I'll go into Whimsicott, and I'll be able to take the Earthquake and fire back a Giga Drain, which should be able to take out an offensive Metagross. Uh, we have 253 attack. Actually, what I'll do is I'll Encore him into Earthquake, and then I can actually switch into my Aerodactyl on this thing. And yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna switch straight up into Aerodactyl, because if he chooses to switch himself, if he goes into Arcanine, then we get a good matchup. If he goes into Sceptile, we get a good matchup. Uh, if he stays in, then we get to Mega Evolve, which is the important thing. So we're, we'll just go for the uh, Wing Attack right here, and uh, we'll be able to damage the Florges immensely with this. This is Tough Claws boosted. Uh, is that what its ability is? <laughs> yes, it's Tough Claws, sorry. Uh, that did 33%, so he can very easily just protect here. And now what I'm forced to do is Stone Edge, unfortunately. But if this connects, then I'll be able to take out his Florges, so... We should be in a pretty good position from there on out. His Metagross could very easily have Bullet Punch, though, so I need to watch out for that. Um, and I need to switch out probably into Cobalion if that does happen. He does bring in his Arcanine. I don't know if I want to play around with the misses. I really wish I was Hone Claws. Um, I would have Hone Clawsed on that, uh, on that Metagross. But anyway... Um, his Arcanine does come in, and we have to make a decision here on what we want to do. I really don't want to Stone Edge. I know that Earthquake more than likely doesn't take him out. Um, I think I need to go Whimsicott here. Yeah, I'm going to sack off my Whimsicott to the E speed. That's fine, he's Life Orb anyway. And we'll be able to go into our Cobalion right here. And basically just go for a close combat more than likely be able to take this thing out. Definitely takes out Metagross, and Sceptile's not Mega Evolved yet, so it will drop, I believe. I don't know if it actually gains any bulk upon Mega Evolution. I know it gains a lot of speed and a lot of special attack, but I don't know about its bulk. Um, anyway, we're, we're taking something out right here, guaranteed. Even if this doesn't kill his Arcanine for some reason, Life Orb will, so. 
Uh, yeah, there we go. We see that uh, he is able to live that. He's going to go for the Flare Blitz. He's going to take out our Cobalion. But now we have a an Aerodactyl that can just... Uh, actually, hold on a second. This is, a, this is a tough play because if he chooses to go into Sceptile and I go into Crawdon, I lose my Crawdon. If he chooses to go into Metagross on my Aerodactyl, then he can still bullet punch me and it's going to do a lot. If he crits me, I lose. So I need to go into Heliolisk here. As he goes into Metagross, which is great, we'll be able to Volt Switch out on this thing. And if he stays in, then we'll be able to knock him out and follow it up with a knockout on the Sceptile with our Aerodactyl. And that's going to be GG. I'll just line it up right here. And, uh, I mean, we should be able to take him out with a, with a wing attack. I don't think, uh... I don't think there's any questions asked about this. And, uh, oh, he has a sad face on his GG. I'm sorry, man. Sorry I had to, uh, to, to encore your Metagross into Earthquake, but that's, uh, that's how you win games, guys. <laughs> Again, we didn't see Crawdon in action, but, uh, I'm sure this game we will. And yes, yes, we will. I am definitely setting up with Crawdon on either his Milotic, on his, um, on his Rotom Heat, if it's uh, special attack is dropped, I can set up on his Aggron. I just need to weaken his Aggron, and my Crawdon can have a field day on his team. Honestly, I really wish it was DD instead, but I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, here, once again, I'm going to lead with Whimsicott. It's just a pretty good lead overall, as he leads with his Rotom. So uh, I have to take an overheat with something. Uh, I'm going to U-turn here, as we are faster, which tells me he's probably defensive. Uh, more than likely from that U-turn damage, and I'll just go into Salamence. Uh, I doubt very much that he would want to Will-O-Wisp on turn one. He's actually Scarfed, uh, but Scarfed with not a lot of speed, apparently. Um, so I could go for the Outrage right here, but I'm not going to. Um, mainly because he has the Sylveon and I don't want to be locked into it. So what I'll do is I'll just EQ as he actually stays in and just goes for the, uh, for the Will-O-Wisp. Okay, interesting. He's Scarf Will-O-Wisp. So, what are your offensive moves, bud? Just gonna Earthquake again, he's probably just gonna Volt out. Uh, he actually tricks me the Lumberry and heals off my burn. <laughs> okay, so this was a weird uh, series of events. I now do not have a Scarf anymore. He's probably gonna trick it again, right? So, you know what we'll do? We'll go into Aerodactyl if he wants to play this game. I really hope he doesn't Volt this time. He goes for Trick, doesn't work, and now he's locked into it. So we can go for a pretty free wing attack right here as he brings in his Aggron. So not as free as I would have expected. That does absolutely nothing. And we have to switch immediately out because this thing is definitely Mega and it's going to hurt me very much. So I have to switch out here. I'm gonna go into Salamence to lower this thing's attack. He's gonna go for the Iron Head. He's not Heavy Slam, he's Iron Head. And here I'm just gonna Fire Blast, honestly. He chooses to go into his Rotom Heat, so I'm gonna get a Fire Blast off on that thing. It's not gonna do anything at all. And now I'm actually just gonna go for Outrage because I'm tired of this thing tricking me. He does go for Trick again. We are locked into the Outrage. He's gonna switch into Sylveon, obviously, but there's nothing we can do about that. We are gonna stop being Outraged now, I think? Yeah, okay, so we get the Confusion on turn two, which is awesome. And actually, he tricked me the Scarf after. I went for Outrage, so I can still hit this thing, or I can switch into something that could take the hit. So I gotta make a decision right here, I don't have a lot of very good Sylveon switch-ins. Yeah, I don't have a switch into this thing, so I'm just gonna try to EQ, he goes for the Hyper Voice, that's fine. I'm gonna go into Cavalion here, and uh, I'm just gonna go for the Stealth Rocks, I need them up for the Rotom. Uh, his Rotom is at 21%, uh, as we can see there. He can overheat me right now, which would be very unfortunate. He can't switch out, though, because he doesn't have hazard removal. So he can't go for a Volt Switch because he would lose out. Um, 364 speed. What speed is he that I outsped him anyway? Because if he's 298... Hold on a second. If he's 298, then he outspeeds... Uh, was it... I think 297 outspeeds Mega Manectric and Megalopony. Like, by one point. So, I don't think he's max speed. He's definitely not. Let me see. Rotom. Give me Rotom Heat. And I want to see what it hits um, with 252 speed. 
252, but not timid. Give it modest. It hits 271. Oh, wait, no, this is the amount that's enough to outspeed uh, Lopany and stuff. So we could potentially be faster than this thing. You know what? I'm going to test it out. Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. Called it right. Good. So he was running like almost no speed investment, which is great. Uh, that's a one for one trade off. And now we have a rocks up, which is awesome. He brings in his conch. I do not want to stay in on this thing. Nor do I really want to take a fighting move with any of anything on my team. Why is this team so fighting weak? Uh, he goes for the drain punch. It's not going to do much to our whimsicott. And uh, I think I might even just U-turn here. Um, yeah, predicting his aggron. Well, he stays in. Uh, obviously, he has like poison jab or something like that. I'm going to go into Aerodactyl here, predicting the poison type move. He actually goes for Ice Punch and gets a crit on us. That's... Ah, come on, man. I really don't want to lose this game. Okay. He doesn't seem to have the Mach Punch, because I feel like he would have gone for it on Cobalion. So let's go into Crawdont and really hope that's the case. And let's just Crab Hammer this thing. As it does 83%, which is a lot of damage. That's just enough for Cobalion to come in and revenge this thing. So uh, we saw Crawdont for half a second. There we go. <laughs> uh, Heliolisk pretty much wins me the game. I need to keep Cobalion and Heliolisk alive, basically. He has no ground types, uh, which means I can freely go for a Thunderbolt on this thing. And uh, that'll be fine. And that's going to take him out. I don't know if the crit mattered. If he was Assault Vest, then I'm sorry. But um, I had to go for that. And now all he has left is the Sylveon, the Heracross. Okay, so I definitely need to keep this thing specifically for the... Um, for the, um, for the Milotic, or else I won't be able to beat it, I think. So, let's just go for the T-Bolt. Let's, uh, do some damage to this thing. He's obviously gonna Hyper Voice me here. It's gonna take us out. Um, but I have the Whimsicott for the, uh, for the Milotic. So I'm gonna go into this, and I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head, because I don't think I... Actually, let's go for the Volt Switch. Okay, so he chooses to stay in on a potential Iron Head, and we're gonna lose our Whimsicott as a result. And now I think I lose. <laughs> so that was a bad series of plays. Unfortunately, we're going to take a loss on this one. I didn't understand all of his plays. Obviously, my Cobalion could have just taken out his Sylve there. And uh, I mean, I guess his Heracross is probably Scarfed. That's why he did that. But uh, I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch. I think it does the most. Nope, definitely not. I'm going to get Scalded and not burned. Okay, cool. Let's go for the close combat. We obviously already lost this game because his, um, his Aggron can take a close combat. And this Scald is going to hurt like heck. And uh, we'll try to get a crit here, I guess. But that's not going to happen. And uh, we're going to go down to the next Scald. And that's going to be a loss on the third game, unfortunately. And once again, Crawdon didn't get to do anything. Going to drop a GG for this guy in the uh, in the chat. You know what? It, we're actually only at 23 minutes. Let's get another one and let's try to make Crawdon work. And my opponent has an opposing Crawdon, so this could actually be interesting. If we can get, us, get up a Swords Dance, we can actually do things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with our Whimsicott, because it doesn't beat this, <laughs> but it beats uh, Gal the Galvantula lead, which is what I was expecting him to lead off with. And I have no immediate response to this. Uh, I'm going to go into Salamence, and I'm going to pivot out into my Cobalion afterwards on this thing. It's my only play. This is... Uh, well, it's not necessarily his Mega, because he has the Blastoise, but I feel like it is, just from the way he he led with it. Let's see, we get the attack drop. He's going to go for the Stealth Rocks, actually. Okay. So, again, here I'm ex I'm fully expecting... We have no Hazard removal. Hmm, <laughs> just noticed that. Going to go into Cob Cobalion. I'm fully expecting him to go for... Okay, not a ton. That's not what I saw coming, but I can go for the Volt Switch here. I, re I really don't expect him to stay in, to be honest. Um, not sure why he went for the taunt, but... Anyway, we're gonna get a Volt Switch off on this Blastoise, which is great. We know that this is his Mega, so... And he has no Electric Resist, so I can just keep doing this. And I can go for Volt Switch on this thing as well with Heliolisk. I should be able to take it out from a Life Orb Heliolisk. I have 317 special attacks, so... Uh, he's gonna switch out into his Aerodactyl. Okay, well, uh, there goes the Focus Sash. And now we'll be able to revenge this thing with our... If he's Taunt Stealth Rock, what else is he? Uh, let's go Cronaut. And let's go for Aqua Jet and knock this thing out. If he chooses to switch, that's a good play. 
because he'll be able to keep his Aerodactyl alive. He chooses to let it go down, so there goes that. And now he's free to go into Conkeldur. I don't want Cronaut to die, so I'm gonna go into Whimsicott on this thing. If he poison jabs, he poison jabs. Uh, he goes for Drain Punch though, very good. And we'll be able to hit him up with a Moonblast. Let's see if this guy f is feeling lucky and wants to stay in. He is not, so he goes into his Metagross, which is not looking like AV. Uh, it's definitely some kind of offensive set. And we're gonna go for a U-turn because I don't expect him to actually bullet punch here. Um, I fully expect him to go for a different offensive move that could hit any potential switch in, uh, i.e. Cobalion. So I'm gonna go into Salamence and see what he wants to do. And uh, obviously we don't get a an Intimidate off, and he does go for Meteor Mash, okay. Uh, is that banded? That looks very, very strong. Like, hold on a second. Let's see, Metagross, all-out attacker, uh, not Mega Metagross, sorry, Metagross, uh, Metagross, um, let's say this is his set, this is the Jolly standard set against Salamence, um, you, you just dance, Meteor Mash never takes me out, unless he's adamant, so, no, even that. So he has to be banded. He absolutely has to be banded. So what do I do? I go into Cobalion on this thing. Definitely. Any day. And now we get up our rocks. And he is not banded, but we have a Shookaberry for his Earthquake, so we're able to take that. And now we can go for a Volt Switch, and switch out into our Aerodactyl, and be able to not take a hit from this thing. Alternatively, hold on a second. I could just, I could just close combat, um, again, and again, Showdown doesn't allow me to do that, so we're gonna go into Aerodactyl here, and hopefully he doesn't go uh, for the, uh, for the steel move, he goes for the Zen Headbutt, so good play on his part, we are faster though, and we'll be able to hit him up with an Earthquake, hopefully he doesn't have the bullet, he does have the bullet, so there goes that, and now I'm forced into Heliolisk as I can live, I don't know what he is, because I calc'd... I, I know it's not factoring in Intimidate, it can't be. There's no way. Is it? No, it's not, because he's got Clear Body. So how did a Meteor Mash do that much to me? I don't get it. Unless I'm like, minus defense nature. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what we are? We are... No, we're minus Spadef, so... Doesn't make much sense, but anyway. Uh, we're just going to hit this thing up with a Thunderbolt and knock it out. And there goes Metagross. And this is faster than the rest of his team, uh, barring Galvantula. But Galvantula can't really do anything to me anyway. And I can still win with Crawdon. It's just I have to... Okay, well, he goes into Conkeldur. Does that tell me he has Mach Punch? Not necessarily. Let me just go for a T-Bolt. He does have the Mach Punch. Okay. All right, I see you. Uh, let's go into Whimsicott as Whimsicott can just Moonblast this thing and uh, be able to hit it for a lot of damage. And this is the last thing standing in Crawdon's way to be able to sweep. So I don't really have another opportunity to be able to set up a... Um, sorry, a uh, Swords Dance, but I am just going to go for the Giga Drain here. That should be able to knock him out. There we go. And uh, we're back up to 55%. And his Galvantula is his only play here. And I can U-turn out. Actually, Whimsicott's probably going to win us the game, looking at it. Uh, if it can just weaken the Conkeldor, I can Aqua Jet it after. So he goes into his Galv, and I have to go into Cobalion here, and basically sack it off as he goes for a Bug Buzz, which does absolutely nothing. Thunder will do a lot more, though. So I'm forced to close combat. He goes for the Thunder. It does knock us out. And now we can go into our uh, Crawdont right here. We can go for the Aqua Jet and basically put this thing in range of any attack from uh, from our Whimsicott. Crawdont comes in. He's not going to appreciate this Aqua Jet. Uh, we are Life Orb, so we take a little bit of damage. I'm questioning whether I should go for the Crab Hammer or the Knock Off. I think Crab Hammer here is better as he goes for a Knock Off. Okay. But now I think his Galvantula is in range of Moonblast. So I have to go for Giga Drain right here. And, uh, and take this Crawdon's health. If he switches into anything, then that's amazing. 
Goes to the Aqua Jet. It's not enough to take us out. We are able to get the Giga Drain off. That's gonna take us out of range of Conkelder's Mock Punch, I believe. His Galvantula does come in. We are gonna Moonblast this thing and knock it out. And Whimsicott, please come through, buddy. Please come through and knock out this Conkelder. I don't know if you can or not, but I need you to. Let's go, come on. No! No, and he has the poison jab. All right, well, we take two losses in today's episode. Unfortunately, guys, we're two and two, but uh, that's that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, if you like the team, uh, thanks again to uh, to Jose for lending me this team. Needs a little bit of improvement, uh, I think, on the... Well, one, not having a hazard removal can be very, very detrimental. And two, um, there's a couple of Pokemon that you just cannot switch into, <laughs> so... As you guys can see, Conkelder is one of them. I think the team needs to be updated a little bit in regards to Sylveon and, and Conk and stuff like that. So, uh, Definitely a fun team, though. I enjoyed using it. Sorry I couldn't utilize the, uh, the Crawdont to its fullest potential. I really just should have Crab Hammered right there. I would have been able to get off damage on the Conkelder and put it in range of Moonblast. But anyway... That's, uh, that's gonna be it, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more of these. I put out new lives every Tuesday, and you guys get four showdown lives during the week. And uh, hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions. Leave a comment for me. Let me know what you think, and that's it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one. Ciao.